All right, we're here to talk about this movie, Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Um, so, yeah, we're on the fifth film. I, I, was, I was expecting it to drop at this point. Yeah, because... Come on, we're on the fifth entry. Generally, things drop around that, that time. I mean, they drop. They drop normally sometimes at the second one. Um, but overall, I don't think. I still think it's a good. It's a good horror movie. Like it's not. It doesn't drop as much as maybe some of the Friday movies, where I'm just like, oh, okay, okay, we're uh, we're just doing the same thing again. Okay, dokie. Okay. I'm just like. Alright. Um But yeah, overall it's it like it lives and dies by the um girl in it. Uh, I think the character's called Jamie. And if that were, if she was a terrible actor, this movie would be a lot worse. Um is what I'd say. Is yeah, it lives and dies by that character, and because she's really good and really, yeah, really most really well when she's basically fucking horror, of, like terrified of everything that Jason's doing. So she weirdly has, so she, in the last, basically at the end of the last film, she stabbed her foster mum. I don't, I can't remember the when I looked at Wikipedia, it just says stabbed, it didn't say killed, but character doesn't appear so I'm gonna just assume she killed her don't know I think the problem my problem with this and just uh, when it comes to like 80s 90s stuff where it's just we're just not gonna explain it you're like but I, I want to explain nah nah I'm not explaining it so she basically has some kind of weird psychic link to Jason uh, where she can basically to tell tell what he's doing so she can almost like view things through his eyes and knows where he is and knows what he's doing. Not Jason, fuck. Uh, Michael Myers. Uh, guys, sometimes, sometimes in a while your brain goes, well, it's a mask to a guy doing things. Um, yeah, the, what he does do, yeah, I seem to recall what I remember of the film. Some of the kills, it doesn't do as many kills as normal. Which is pretty brutal. For some reason, he just kind of fucks with people for a bit. He's more on it like a, I'm a fuck with people some more. Um, but he's, yeah, he's a bit, it's 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 a bit of a weird one. You got some kind of weird couple of, the element of just two random couple of bumbling cops. They're kind of just, do, 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 her. And you're like, okay, these guys are, these guys are annoying as fuck. And, but it's fine, because luckily they die. So, eh, it all works out. <laughs> yeah, it all works out. Um, I think we definitely get, you definitely see some of the maybe influences of other films was, there's not as much, there's not, yeah, there's some kind of sexy times happening, but there's no nudity per se. But it does seem to be a little bit like, yeah, influenced by all, all the other slasher films of the time where it's like, tits and ass, tits and ass, just happening. But uh, yeah, of course, everyone ignores basically the girl and everyone ignores um, Donna Please on whatever the fuck his name, character's name is, completely escapes me. But of course, everyone you know, kind of ignores him for the most part. Just like, well, um, that reminds me. Sorry, I'm just I've also got the film just running a background to basically refresh my memory of anything. I'm like, there was a random masked man basically right at the end of the film. Uh, spoilers. Um, who has kind of a marking on here? So I don't know what it is. I can't remember if it's explained in any previous film. I don't think it was. Um, and he's just kind of hanging around. And he basically is the one that gets Michael Myers out of prison at the end of the film. But it's not explained in anywhere in this film. So, like, okay. It's okay. That's just there. I guess we're setting up a sequel. I don't know. From what I know, I think this film. No. 
That's that's. I know it is. It just doesn't have the number. The Curse of Michael Myers is the last one in the old continuity. Um, or the well, there's a load of old ones, but because it basically after this, the next film ignores everything except for one and two. Uh, so it ignores the you know obviously ignores three, but four, five, and six. Um, so I'm wondering if six is its yeah four, five, and six is its own kind of trilogy. Uh, so again, I'm not gonna look it up because I don't I don't want to look it up about any of the film. I don't yeah I don't want to know anything about it before it happens. All I know is it's part of the old continuity. Um, I have two cuts of it to watch, uh, which you'll watch at some point. Um, but I don't know anything other than that. Um, but yeah, it's honestly, I don't really have anything to complain about other than it's just, but it's, you know, more, more stuff of the era where I'm like, yeah, and that's not, stuff is not explained, but that's, I feel like that's just not a thing in older movies. They just sometimes do just not explain things and just leave it up to the audience. Whereas, yeah, because people on the internet complain and, you know, Sometimes rightly so, sometimes not. Yeah, things are just more explained in in modern in modern cinema. Yeah, you look at like Avengers Endgame where they basically try to fully explain away a lot of stuff in yeah you know, the time travel and that. But um, yeah, I just don't have anything like really bad to say. Like I said, the kills are more brutal, which. Yeah, I think it was a complaint. The problem they had with four, where they, it wasn't that brutal, and then they did, yeah, second pass, just adding in some a couple more brutal kills, um, just to give it something, because it's supposed to be a horror. Come on, let's be, let's give us some horror. Yeah, there's obviously psychological horror, but yeah, this is a guy who's basically, you can't really have as much psychological psychological horror with a character that just doesn't speak, you know, and maybe a little bit of you know. Jason is coming into Michael Myers because they're, you know, kind of very similar characters in regard. Um, and it makes sense, you know, that the new, new guy on the block, maybe they'll go, oh, still a few, da, 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 da. Dude, that's how it is. Um, but they are very similar characters in the, the non speaky. Yeah, they, they kind of go in the Jason really where it's this, this big. Yeah, Michael Myers is a big character. Um, yeah, big, big frame kind of guy, but doesn't obviously doesn't talk or anything. Um, yeah, and then yeah, Donald Blue. I keep forgetting what's his name, but I've got it. Dama, Dama. He he basically um, kind of sacrifices a couple of cops. He's like, ah, oh, no, I'm just locking the door here for this place. It's like, oh, okay, so these cops are just stuck here. And you're not gonna... Okay, no, that's fine. I guess you've just doomed these couple of cops to die. Bit of a dick move, but okay. <laughs> Bit of a dick move! But yeah, like I said, it honestly rests, in for the most part, on the kid actor, and it, it could very easily be bad. And it's not. That's good. And then Jason, Jason, fuck, Michael Myers gets captured, and then gets freed. And you're like, okay, okay, that's what happens. But you know, maybe with six in the rear view, once we get to that review, um, I'll actually maybe have a better opinion of it, or not, because it's basically the movie that, yeah, they then they rebooted the franchise, so maybe not. So do um yeah we're gonna do both cuts of it so there'll be two separate commentaries for that and then just one review because I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do a review for individual the individual cuts um I'll just do a review where I talk about both of them and then I can kind of compare them uh, overall uh but yeah that is Halloween five I also have another next movie I'm doing next week is not horror, even though I basically said it was horror, and it's not. It's really not. We're doing Chi Devils on Wheels. That is nah. That is a weird, obscure film. So we'll we'll talk about it next week. 
see you then and then after that uh there'll be halloween six we'll actually go back to halloween six because like i said i did want to just make sure i did um the two halloween six cuts together because i can't really compare them properly unless i do it that way because otherwise i'm just like well i watched one and then I'll, two weeks later i watched another one <laughs> you know but yeah all right i'm signing off now farewell